White Mentalism, and welcome to Port Royal 4, which you might remember from my last video where I tried to be a pirate and I was particularly bad at it. So this time we're going to try a little bit of trading. Now, disclosure, this is a sponsored video and you will find a link down below. If you wish to go check out the game, you may do so using that link. However, we're going to dive in. We're going to go free game and we'll be playing as England again. And this time around, we're going to play the merchant. So we won't play the pirate and get ourselves horrifically murdered. We're going to play the merchant and we are going to be Darla Jackson. She is nifty, courageous, thirsty for adventures. She's thirsty. Okay, sure. And there is no deal she misses out on. No matter whether friend or foe. Do I have like an epic voice? Can I do this an epic voice? Here we go. As a trader, she is esteemed and respected among all nations, which is why all ports are open to her, even if there are no entrance for others anymore. There we go. So she doesn't require a trade license. She can trade anywhere. Doesn't need to try and get a license or anything. And is able to trade with all nations, even at war. So that's fine. Um, just don't get attacked by any fleets or anything, but totally allowed to trade however combat vessels will cost twice as much fame points so we're probably going to be going a lot more focused on the trading here um because apparently i just get murdered if i try and do anything illegal just don't do crimes so uh we're gonna dive in she's got a lovely hat as well we're gonna do a custom game we'll basically use uh, i want a decent challenge but we are going to probably allow automation on trade routes um that is all good okay and we'll just start with a regular thing and we will start at port-au-prince where else would we want to start yeah we'll start port-au-prince there we go and because we can trade anywhere we aren't just limited to the english areas from the start so we can just basically wander around and have some fun uh now first things first we are the Grumbler, which is a great name for a convoy. And what do we want to buy? Beer. Beer is actually really good because that often sells for like double that. So we're going to buy a little bit. However, I don't want to buy too much. We'll just buy like 10. They're actually not producing beer. This is just what they start with. So that's quickly not going to be a bit of an issue here. We could buy bricks. Everywhere starts with a bit of bricks. I think we're going to buy sugar. And we'll up that. Oh, I, mean, I guess we'll up that pretty far. 166 sugar. And I guess we'll just buy bricks for the rest. Then we have to find somewhere where they don't have sugar. Here. Let's try Tortuga. Travel up there. Get a little bit of trading in. I'm hoping we can make a good profit. Okay. What you got here? Um, bricks. They don't have any bricks, so we can sell those. Making a bit of profit there. They have no sugar. Again, oh, we can drop a little bit, but not too much. Wood. You know what? We can get some wood. I wouldn't mind having some wood on board. They're praising. Okay. Um, also, ah, we're full up now. Yeah, we're actually full of wood, sugar, and beer. Which, you know, just seems like a really good night out. Um... Phrasing. Anyway, Barcoa basically produces tobacco, coffee, and is that coal? It's very specialized, so probably just going to sell a whole bunch here. Yeah, they'll be able to buy the sugar. The price is dropping. So I think we'll just sell till we get to 100. Uh, beer. And then bricks. Oh, no. Is that it? Yeah, we've just got wood and sugar now. The wood price is reasonable, but we'll only be able to sell like a tiny bit. Like three. Wow. Okay, not much. Not much at all. Uh, oh, they have loads of coffee. That must mean the price is like driven down really far. So I think we'll buy coffee all the way to 39, fill our hold, and then let's go to Porto Padre. Hopefully they'll want coffee. Santiago actually produces coffee. So there's no point really selling coffee to them because it'll be like, we already have coffee. What are you trying to do? Well, this is coffee from a different place literally just down the road. I mean, not that they have roads. All right, there's beer here. We could buy beer. Um, selling sugar has a little bit of value. Okay, apparently only a tiny little bit of value. Uh, wood. They really want wood. 
And that's it. Okay, let's buy beer. You notice how the price starts to spike really rapidly. Let's just buy beer to like 103. 50 beer. That's actually quite a lot. Beer's really expensive, so that's a good amount of beer to get in. And then, you know what? Let's go up to the Netherlands. Ooh, new task. On behalf of the crown, I have a task for you. Oh, do you now? Why would a current neutral and blah, blah, blah. In our towns, the commodity corn has been in short supply for a long time. While the Netherlands have enough in stock, I asked you to buy 451 corn from the Netherlands and deliver it to England. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We're in the Netherlands right now. Uh, th Yeah, they got a lot of corn. Right, let's sell a whole bunch of sugar. Almost all our sugar. Wow. Okay, let's drive that down to 110. Beer. Look at that. I'm making like 70 per beer. I mean, per barrel, not per beer. That would be very expensive beer. Um, Do we have anything else on board? Coffee, which again, making reasonable money there. We're going to sell like 14 of it. What is this? Kakao. Oh, okay. That's really cheap here. I should be doing the corn thing, but this is good money. Like we've made like 10,800 already in this game. I'm going to buy some of this. Not too much. Notice that like, so this bar is, hey, four green means we're full. Notice that as soon as it gets to halfway point, the price tends to plateau for a bit. And then if I go further, actually, I can't go far enough. I don't have enough hull space. But like the price starts to plateau and then it will start rising again. So I think we're just going to go to there and then we're going to leave the rest of the place for like corn. Oh, actually, they don't have a lot of corn. Instantly, the price starts rising. Oh, well, um, let's buy more cocoa then. And we'll try sell the cocoa up here in Nassau. And then they also have corn. So hopefully we'll buy corn in Nassau. Because I want to start like doing favors to the British so that they like us enough that they allow us to command, you know, warships. Because I need bigger ships. I can't be trusted. I don't know why they give me a warship. Is that cannabis? Hemp. Oh, yeah, basically. Okay. Um, they are understocked on Koa. Yeah, we'll make a little bit of profit there. Not much. So we'll sell a little bit. Uh, the final coffee. There we go. 16 wheat. Wow, we're really getting into this wheat trading game. It wasn't wheat they wanted. It was corn, right? Damn it. It was corn. Okay. Well, still making money. I mean, most of our money is currently in our hull. But in theory, we're making money. Uh, You are grain. So we'll just sell the grain. I made a profit on it anyway. Here's corn. Right. We'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, You can have the sugar. Wow, the price is driving down real quick. We'll just sell a tiny bit. And then... Corn! You can tell it's America. Everything is run on corn. The Americas, I guess. Uh, all right, let's go to Mosquito. Aptly named. Is that actually a place in Florida? That seems very aptly named for Florida. Wow, you've got a lot of cotton. Uh, let's get rid of a little bit of that. A little bit of that. I guess we'll buy some cotton because, like, that is ridiculous price. Um, still got so much cocoa on board. You know what? Maybe I should have bought so much cocoa. In hindsight. Go down to the keys and see if we can deal with that. Then I guess we go down like Havana. All the way down to Trinidad. Do you want anything that I've got on board? Yes. That's the last of the coffee. Wow, the price on cocoa drops incredibly quick. 
I'll drop a little bit of it. I'm just going to sell half the cotton as well. And we'll buy a little bit of beer just to keep us going. Like, I don't want to be just trading beer, but we need something to... Oh my god, we need to get rid of this cocoa. Let's go down to Havana. Maybe they want cocoa. Co I know we're meant to be going back up here and buying more co corn and doing the corn stuff. But, like, I've accidentally filled a hole full of chocolate. And I, if I eat it, then I'm going to get blamed. Eating all of our money. Do you do you want cocoa? You, you do? Oh, that's coffee. Cocoa? You want a little bit of cocoa. You really don't want much cocoa. Okay. I regret everything. Uh, okay. Beer. You want beer? Awesome. Do you want cotton? You know what? Start it. You can have the cotton as well. Um. And I guess we'll buy tobacco to keep everything afloat. And then I guess we'll come over to Adros. And then we'll go this way. And they've just got cocoa everywhere. Okay, Porto Padre it is. No, I need to sell something. We're going to go here. We're going to sell whatever we can sell. Tobacco? Hell, we could sell corn, but we're meant to be taking that to England. I mean, we're positive on cash. Probably is, most of the cash is in that cocoa there. Which obviously is just taking up space in the hold, and we're not selling it. Right. Nothing here is really sellable. Okay, that's fine. Saleable. Saleable? Sellable? Saleable. Like our boat. Saleable. I want to get a nice ship. And float a nice ship around. Can we afford a nice ship? We might be able to afford a new ship, actually. In which case, I could just store more stuff that I'm not selling in my hull. Um, please tell me I can sell... Tobacco is incredibly cheap here. Okay, we can sell a reason amount of cocoa. And I guess we could buy more tobacco that we're not going to sell anywhere. Um, you know what? Let's buy tobacco. Because that is incredibly cheap. And then... Go to the Crooked Island. Crooked Island? Really? Just like a lot of crime there? That's a place? Okay. There's Cat Island. Okay, I am in. This sounds awesome. Cat Island. Right next to Crooked Island. Hello, everyone with a military convoy. Don't mind me. I'm being lawful this time. Right. Tobacco. Sell a chunk of it. Sell a lot of cocoa as well. That's good. Right. You have corn, but it's not a lot of corn. Okay. Maybe the Turks have some corn. I assume it's not Turkish people who live there. Obviously, it's probably the Netherlands, but it's called Turks Island. Is someone called Turk? Like, discover it? Maybe? A lot of hemp around here. And apparently vases and... Is that furniture or just, like, models of horses? What are you? Luxury items. Okay. Models of horses. Luxury items. Gotcha. Uh, we could sell a little bit of tobacco. Not much. The price drives down really quick on that. But... Oh. Uh, you know, we'll drive the price up a little bit. That's fine. Let's immediately just go and sell that. Because I've got so much of this stuff sitting in the hull right now that we need to get rid of it. I was just thinking about you. Uh, well, thank you. I ask you to buy and deliver it towards us by the 5th of March. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 113 bought, zero delivered. In our town, so it has to be anywhere in England. So we can sell it here. Sell that, and then... That's the last of the cocoa gone. I actually made a lot of money on that cocoa, even though it was sitting around for a long time. They produce coffee here, so there's no point. Uh, they also produce fruit. We can grab some fruit. Just a little bit to sell. I say that, I can buy a hundred. We'll go to Port-au-Prince. Hopefully they'll want that. 
get some fruit, get some corn off. We've been very healthy in terms of what we're trading. And we can also like buy a ship. Get another ship. Like double our hold space and then not sell cocoa that's stored in two ships instead. Uh, fruit. Okay, well, only sell like a tiny bit before the prices drop. So it's not even really worth it. Okay, um, corn. All the corn. Tobacco. Oh, okay. Not too much. Hello. Where's the large shipyard? I assume it's going to be in Santo Domingo. There we go. So we could buy a Shuna. That would leave us with not much money left, but it would allow us to double what we're carrying. So yeah, I think what we do is we buy a Shuna and then double how much we can carry and see if we can make our way with that. But it might be a little bit early to do that. I just worry that we're going to get saddled with, you know, twice the cost and not enough money to buy stuff to fill our hold with. End of the Portuguese dynasty. The king of Portugal dies childless. And the house uh, of Avis is over. Okay. They also do car rentals. Hmm. San, San, San Juan? San Juan? I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't do Spanish. I'm sorry. Right. They have fruit. So there's no point in me trading fruit away. Could we trade away some tobacco? Yes. Great. And then we will repair. Also, we got a sloop, a brig, a bark, a flute, corvette, corvette, military frigate. Okay, obviously, we can really only afford the very cheapest of things, which is probably a schooner. Yeah. What have we got? Shuna, yeah. So let's purchase another Shuna. And then put it into the Grumbler. And now we have twice the car capacity. Awesome! Is there anything that you have in quantity here that we could buy? Like fruit? Okay. Well, fruit can be a little bit difficult to sell. Oh, corn. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll buy some corn. Don't know. This is not going to count, but like, whatever. Ooh, booze. I don't want to buy too much. We'll go negative. I think that's about it for now. We've got 5,000 left. We cost 300 per day. Yay. It's February. We've got until March to do this corn deal. I don't know if we're going to do the corn deal. Be completely honest about that. Hello, what's this big star? Here an old shellback is sitting and offers a piece of treasure map for sale. Uh, okay. There's a random bit of treasure map. Tempting, but it costs money that we don't really have. Right, okay. What you got, what you got. Uh, we'll get rid of a little bit of that. A little bit of that. And you've got a bit of booze. We can sell a little bit of booze. Okay, I think that's probably enough to maybe try and buy this. No shell back is sitting off a piece of treasure map which is up to sale. Okay.
I've got one out of nine. Right. Sell a little bit of fruit. Sell a bit of corn. Sell a bit of booze. And it's rum specifically. Okay. And do you want to buy more stuff? I mean, everything here is kind of okay on price. We could buy a bit of tobacco. Okay, apparently we can buy a lot of tobacco. Right. Do you have tobacco? No. Let's go to the Turks Island then and see if we can sell some tobacco there. Do like a big root. Try and buy a load of corn and then sell all the corn. On behalf of the crown, I have a task for you. Oh, we've only delivered 35 corn. Really? Oh, we're still corn in our hold. Damn it. Maybe we have to sell the corn at a loss. But I don't want to sell the corn at a loss. We don't have much money. Right. Get rid of the fancy fruit. I'm just going to sell all of our corn. And now we know that when we buy the corn... Ah, right. We can sell the corn to them, then buy the corn from them, and it will count as their corn. That's my cunning plan, I think. Basically, are we just, like, laundering corn? I think we're just laundering corn. This is definitely some kind of racketeering. Does that count? It did count. Although, we still don't have anywhere near enough corn. And we've got less than a month. We're just laundering corn. Like, big corn. The corn mafia. I don't know how they tell whose corn it is, but like maybe there's some sort of stamp on the corn. I don't know how this works. Uh, we're going to sell some more rum. Sell some tobacco. Hey, uh, you got any corn? No, they don't have any corn. Okay. I'm going to sell a little bit of corn just because I don't think we can offload enough and we could do the money. And we'll buy a bit of beer. Right, Cat Island. And then I think we go to Nassau, buy corn at Nassau, head down and see if we can sell that in the English parts. Although, I don't know if we're going to be able to do the mission because it's a lot of corn. Like, they're asking for my hold and then some full of corn. And people don't seem to be buying that much. Uh, we'll sell some fruit. Sell some beer. Ooh, rum's good here. Okay, there we go. All the rum's gone. Where's the rum gone? I mean, I sold it, so. And we'll get rid of some tobacco. We could buy some lumber. Oh, we could buy corn. Mm. Yeah, we'll buy a little bit of corn. Did I sell corn here? I, there's a lot of trading going on. I get confused easily. Let's buy wood. And then let's go to Nassau. I think I sold corn here and then just bought my corn back, didn't I? Yeah. Look, I'm trying to think, like, on so many levels at once. Yeah, okay, there's no excuse. I just literally did more laundering of my own corn at a loss. So, I have no excuse. However, there is more corn. And you know what we're about? We're all about that corn game. Uh, what else do we want? Sell beer. Is there anything else? I think we could sell a bit of wood. It doesn't really sell very well. Fruit. Right, let's try and bring this corn back. We'll go past Adros on the way. And then go to Barcoa immediately and just sell that corn. This place is familiar. I totally got chased down by pirates here the other day. What, didn't I? Yeah. I, by chased by pirates, I mean I was a pirate and I was chased by the military. But perspective. It's just really subjective, okay? Okay. Don't want to sell wood here. Don't want to really do anything. Do you, do you really want anything we've got? No? We can, we might buy coal. Sell a bit of tobacco. A little bit of tobacco. Like literally four bits of tobacco. We'll buy some cocoa. You know what? That went so well last time. I'm going to buy 40 cocoa. This is a terrible idea. Why am I buying cocoa? Buy, I guess, four coal. Because then apparently the price just starts going up. But look, we've doubled the size of our fleet and we've got our starting money effectively back. I mean, we're nine grand shy, but that nine grand's 
in our hold right now. So we're doing well. Ish. But we've got a treasure map. Like, we're one out of nine steps of the way to finding buried treasure, which could be anything. Let's just pin all our hopes on that. What could possibly go wrong with that? Okay. Pawn. That counts towards the mission, surely. Wood. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Fruit. Look, we're being very helpful here. We're getting people wood, giving them their five a day. Uh, I don't need that. Don't need that. Are you producing anything that might be of a tool use? Um, coffee. Lots of coffee. For a very, very reasonable price. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. How are we doing Come that corn me. mission? I've got something for you. Okay, we've delivered 78 of 451 corn. I get the feeling I'm meant to be delivering this, like, below market value, really. I'm not meant to be making a profit on the corn. I'll sell you another 45 then. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Get rid of the coal. Get rid of some tobacco. Get rid of some cocoa. I only need a tiny bit of cocoa. Apparently, people, like, only need a bit of chocolate, and they're like, I'm done. I... You know, I don't, I don't need any more. Fair enough. I'm going to say we start trading with some, like, luxury goods. Because they're really valuable, which means they don't take up much hold space. So we're going to buy, like... I just think maybe 15 for now. Maybe the same for furniture. That's really expensive furniture. Like, look at it. It's fancy. It's gilt, like, stuff and everything. Buy 15 of that. We'll shoot over here, see if we can sell more corn. Okay, can we sell more corn? We can sell more corn. Alright, I'm going to start selling corn just for the purpose of selling corn. You know, I'm not actually going to try and make a profit on it. Get rid of that tobacco. Really? You have furniture here? Okay. Ooh, pastry. I like the idea of trading in pastry. All right, we'll go to Port-au-Prince, and then I think what we'll do is we'll head back up and do more corn trading, because we're up to 143. Yeah, we've got like a third of the way there, and we've got, what, two weeks? I don't think this is going to work. Not unless we literally start buying a whole ton of corn and then just dumping it on the market real cheap. Which would cost us. You know what? Maybe we should just do that. We have the money to really do this. Maybe it'll be worth it. You know, getting in tight with the governor and all that. I'm going to start selling things just a little bit more risky. Yeah. We'll make good money on those expensive commodities. All right, we're going to shoot up here, buy a whole load of corn. And because it's quite a bulky item, it's pretty cheap per unit. So even if our margin we're losing is like 50 per item. Oh, okay, maybe not 50 per item. But if we're losing like 10 per item, we should be okay. We should be able to just eat that like loss. I need you. Although even then we might not have enough time. Right, corn. You've got like 94. Buy all. Done. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Next corn is up in Nassau. Maybe we should just try to focus on the corn. We've got four days. I don't even think we're going to be able to do this in terms of time. Damn. Look, we got ourselves another ship out of it. So, in general, we're doing okay. Yeah. We're probably going to get to get Nassau on the 3rd. And then we've got two days to get down to Barcoa, really. We could dump it at Porto Padre. Porto Padre. Porto Padre. I'm just not good with that name, right? Corn. Okay, that's a lot more corn. 
but that's still not enough. I need like another hundred. That's not, it's not really going to work out, is it? Also, now I've got a load of corn I have to sell. However, I can introduce them to the ones of pastry. The ones of pastry. I don't know why I'm trying to sell this. Okay, go, go, go. This is not gonna really work. March the 4th, March the 5th. Ah, you are arriving at the right. Come on. I don't think we're even carrying enough. Oh, we're literally carrying enough. Ah, no, we almost made it. We were literally carrying exactly the right amount of corn. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll end it there for today. Um, we almost, we almost traded enough corn. However, that was quite a lot of corn to trade, and we did have to buy another ship halfway through. Eh, we could have almost made it. We'd have to dump it on the market at a pretty low price. However, we have ourselves a second ship. So, in theory, we start trading a few more of those luxury commodities, and then maybe set up some, like, automated trade routes at some point. I think we can maybe start eking a bit more of a profit here. Right now, we just, just got ourselves in 20 minutes enough profit to finance another ship. I'm thinking we can maybe get ourselves that automated trade room next time. Then we don't have to worry about that ship. Then we can start thinking about getting military vessels or at least armed vessels. And then maybe just a little bit of like poaching. Just a little bit of piracy. Just a, just a little bit. Look, it didn't go well last time. Maybe it'll go well next time. You know? Maybe? Possibly? Anyway! This has been Port Rail 4. There'll be a link down below if you wish to go check it out. I've been Enter Elysium. Do remember to like, subscribe, and all that jazz. It's been a sponsored video. And uh, until next time, do remember to stay shiny.